Hello everyone and welcome to another video. Today I'm going to do a video on how to spot a fake Lego minifigure. Now I made a mistake when buying this minifigure because I didn't have a Wonder Woman and I honestly I really wanted a Wonder Woman figure and then when I got home I noticed it's fake. Now the way you can spot a fake minifigure there are loads of different ways you can spot a fake minifigure. Now if I zoom out a bit there looks normal but there are plenty of ways you can spot a fake lego minifigure for instance the head the, what, what the detailing is on the head one it doesn't have double sided head and wonder woman typically does not saying it i just think that this wouldn't be the case with lego and this is a fake minifigure right off the bat because the skin tone, the skin tone on the chest and the legs are different to the skin color on the head and the arms. Yeah, and I know the Lego wouldn't make this mistake because they check through every piece one by one. The face just does not look right. The mouth has terrible painting work. I the head from in real life perspective, maybe not so much on video. It just isn't. That's not Wonder Woman. You you can tell this isn't a fake. This is a fake minifigure, and it also doesn't stay on properly. It's really tight, which you shouldn't get in a Lego figure. And I've also got another one up here. Now the problem with this one is its leg. Those legs, you can see, there's a split. A slightly wonky. Whereas with a minifigure, like, oh, minifigure like that, the legs are pretty much closed together. Now that isn't the case with this Wonder Woman, but it is with this. Now everything about this minifigure is great, it's just the legs. That's the only thing that does it. The legs are, they're just not proper legs. Um, I don't know about this, but I'm going to see if I can find my Deadpool figure. It doesn't seem to, I don't know where he is. But I've also bought a Deadpool figure. And he was a fake one too, because his legs always kept sliding off. And that's how I could tell he was a fake. So that's how you spot a fake Lego minifigure. Now, I did promise... I would show you guys some of the rest of the Disney minifigures on the end of another episode and as we've got a bit of time I will show you the ones that we didn't see. So starting off with Minnie Mouse. So this is one of the ones that we didn't see. Overall I love the design of this figure. I think it's a great design for the figure. The head is absolutely brilliant. I love the skirt piece. I love everything about this figure. It has a nice simplistic design to it because a lot of simplistic things you get aren't that good but this figure considering to who it is just be even though it's sim very simplistic it's still a great mini figure so oops she's come to bits so there we go put her back in the case and this is the case I'm using, by the way. I bought it when I was on holiday. It's like a cool, really cool case that's kind of brand new. I got it this year, in fact, but back in July. Oh, my shoe got stuck to the carpet. Now we have Donald Duck. Yet another very simplistic design. But I love the minifigure just because of how traditional this, these figures are. I mean, just... The look of the figures are great, honestly. I think all the minifigures in this series were absolutely perfect. Even the simplistic design ones, just because of how recognisable they are. I think they're all really, really great. So putting Donald B Duck back in the case. Next we have one of my favourites and was a very one hard one to get hold of, for me anyway. It was... um. Peter Pan. Now, on the um, instruction booklet that I will just grab, 
Um, he was shown having silver knives and he came with gold knives. I'm fine with that, but I would have much preferred the silver ones because if you look at the sheet there. Don't want to get that close, but you can see he has silver knives. Don't get the point of it, but yeah, okay. I think they just ran out of the silver paint, and yeah. And he did come with two, and on the packet he comes with. No, yeah, he comes with two. Sorry, just looking at it wrong. I overall love this minifigure, and it's a shame that Disney Infinity got cancelled because this was their next release. Peter Pan was a figure they were going to release now there is a way to get it i know like on pc or something but unfortunately i can't do that because i don't have disney infinity on pc and i don't think i'll be able to download it now due to them it being cancelled i mean why did you have to cancel it disney infinity i mean come on yeah this is a lego video but please bring it back right guys we need to start a petition we will bring back disney infinity we will bring it back Peter Pan is overall great design though, going back to what we were talking about, and I wish that figure came out for Disney Infinity. Moving on to one of the ones that I got the most out of all of them. I probably got like one, two, three odd duplicates of this guy. It was Syndrome. I love this minifigure for the pieces, like the blueprints are awesome, the, the extra cape, awesome, the body print, awesome, the head, mm, the hair, fantastic, because you could, the hair you could use for a Mom! custom, um, I need a toilet, sorry that was just my little sister, um, don't have a proper set up room yet, um, but you could use that hair piece for like a, um, you know in the Fantastic Four movies, the, um, fire person you could i've forgotten the name of him but i knew the name johnny or something you could use that hair piece for that overall great design for the figure and i love the silver on the boots with the detailing get it to focus Oh well. Well there's some really nice printing on those boots anyway. You might have known. Moving on to Mr. Incredible. Another very simplistic design, but I love it. I love, love, love it. The hairpiece is amazing. I just love this mini thing figure. I think he's a great one to get and he's definitely the one to look out for out of all of them. And you get this awesome little piece. The camera doesn't want to focus, but there you go. It's like this awesome little piece with American colours and Mr. Incredible in his old outfit. And it says, doing our part. And it has like a bunch of superheroes flying. Overall, I really love that piece. I think it's a great piece. Definitely a piece to try and get for like a newspaper or something if you're doing it. And if you are, have you got the, if you've got the Disney Castle, I would recommend trying to get some of these minifigures. I know it comes with Donald, Daisy, Mickey, and Minnie, I think. Yeah, but it would be nice to see. Try and send me any like videos and stuff. I hope you subscribe. Hope you enjoyed the video, guys. I will try and edit on on the computer. It will be uploaded for a little bit before I edit, though. So any of you that see it, um, maybe come back and maybe not watch the whole video. Just have a look at what I've changed, at the edits, stuff like that. Because I will go back through and edit the old few videos as well. So make sure to go check through my channel every now and then. And just see if I've updated them. And yeah. So, I uh, overall, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I uh, hopefully now you know how to understand when you're spotting a fake minifigure in like car boot sales and things. So, I really hope you understand that fact and really hope I put it out there. And um, Mr. Grand Incredibles just dropped his newspaper. Oopsie. Um, hope you enjoyed. <laughs> in in God. enjoyed the video guys hope you subscribe and like please share the video as much as possible 
with your friends, even with it, it's just with your family, just saying, look, when we go to car boot sales, so-and-so can't get this anymore because it's fake. I just want to put that out there, that fake minifigures do exist, and people making them should really honestly stop. I think. But overall, I really hope you enjoyed the videos today, and goodbye!